Yeah. Yeah. These chairs got us feeling a lot more arrogant. Yeah, so uh, 2024, uh, 2024 hip hop media power ranking list has dropped. These are the people that are in the media. Obviously, the title says it all. Um, there are people that are new on the list this year. There are people that who are not on the list that were on the list last year in 2023. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a couple things that kind of need to just be go- gone over in general. And uh, we'll rank how these all work out or you know whatever so what was your first feelings when you first saw it like was it uh was it surprising was it like nigga what i actually read the article this time you read the article i feel like, I we, read, read, I feel like we read it last time too nah but, but you're saying by yourself yeah by myself by, in my alone time i like read like 95 percent of this article yeah each person mm. okay and then after a while i skipped like maybe the 15th nigga did I can tell you how I felt as we go down this list because I don't want to wait too long. We want to go through this list first. So are we starting at twenty five? This and they can they can see this, right? They're about to be able to, yeah. All right. So let me know when the let me know when it's on. It's on. All right. So at twenty five, we have Gay P. First thing I thought was I have no idea who this person is. That's that's all I thought. You never seen this guy? I haven't. This is the dude that looked like Drake that does the uh, on the radar on the oh, that's off, yeah on the radar or is it off the radio. Oh, I've never seen the host of that show. I've only seen the freestyle. I, I think it's on the radar, but so he the, does the one with the green neon. So he yeah. does interviews oh. too, and he's been doing the interviews with the freestyles for a minute. I've literally but only seen the freestyles. Obviously, the yeah. interviews don't get as much love as the freestyles. Okay. But well, this makes complete damn. He should. And it was funny might. because Tax had tweeted he was like, "Gabe P should have been higher." Yeah, and I, was I was like, "That say, must." I think that's some bias in there. Because it's like you know the higher. niggas, it's some Brooklyn brothers, but is. Mm. Let's keep going. What Let's keep going. We got to go through the whole list. Nah. Um, at 24, tip. we have... I got it. Arshan Jawid. He... Yeah. So, yeah, have you have you heard no, of him before? We'll just, we'll just keep going. At 23, we have Jason Lee. I uh, usually do it like that. Okay. I just want to go through them just so we can uh, lay the foundation. At 22, we have Adam 22. I feel like that was a joke. At 21, we have Van Lathan. At number 20, we have Trap Lord Ross. At 19, we have Nadeska. <laughs> At 18, we have Sway Calloway. At 17, we have Angela Yee. I've never heard his name. Uh, 16, Big Boy. 15, Angie Martinez. 14, Bootleg Kev. 13, Rory <laughs> and Maul. 12, Yachty and Mitch. So, a safe space podcast. Uh, 11, Nori, but not Drink Chance, which is kind of interesting. 10, Nardwar. 9, this is, this is the where it really matters. Top, top 10. 9, Gillian Wallow. 8, Anthony Fantano. Uh, seven Ebro, six Vlad, five Ebro. Oh, sorry, Elliot Wilson, four Charlemagne the God, three Kai Sinet, two Joe Budden, and number one hip hop media academics. Yep. So the most notable thing that we got to make mention of is the people who weren't on there before, like Rory and Maul being thirteen. I got a list of oh weren't yeah. on there at all. Period. They weren't even they weren't on the last right. list, yeah. and then they shot up to number thirteen. So if we compliment Rory on being better, he's gonna think that we're sneak dissing him or something, right? What did he say when he was when he was tipsy? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I remember. Um, off the. Uh, I think what's more, it's kind of crazy that that happened because it kind of speaks to like the whole. He kept saying that yo, y'all was shitting on me, and then all of a sudden it was praise. It's because yeah, you started getting better, and we're oh, obviously not the only people that took note of this. And you're saying it's being seen like that now because yeah, their podcast was trash when that that last list came out, so that shit shouldn't have been on there. Mm. Yeah, for sure. But their podcast it has gotten better. So Rory, it, the world is noticing. It does make sense, and but I think what's more important, honestly, is the people that were left off the list that were on the list last year, like Jazzy. Like, I'm going to go through all of them. <laughs> Carisha. I got Carisha, Math Hoffa, Peter Rosenberg, Nala Simone, Jazzy, and Jinx were, Did, the, were the names that were on 2023 that were not on 2024. Didn't see that coming. Now, I'm going to be real. Out of this list, I'm not really mad at that, <laughs> except like Math Hoffa. I mean, we, we, I've said plenty of things about Math Hoffa, but him not being on this list is kind of crazy. So because I don't, of hip hop? I mean, yeah, like... Matt Hoffa does a bunch of interviews I don't want to see because I feel like I've heard all those questions before, but he's doing them, though, still. But don't you think that's just like a... It's not like a real trophy? Like, <laughs> What you mean? You're not really bigging him up. It's kind of like... like He kind of has to be in it just for all of That's the reason that no, Angie Martinez and Big Boy keep getting put on the list because they that's another, have I think, to be there. I think Matt Hoffa was slighted by not being on this list. I, think, what, that was, I what, think that was a slight. What interview did he do that was worthy of a mention because as I was reading the article, I was trying to kind of like see what they're ranking this on. Okay. They're just talking about who's had the most buzz around them this year. Right. It's not necessarily who's done the best work, 
Like, there was a couple people who slid down the list because in the description, it was like, I mean, he ain't really had no viral moments. So it's like, you know, mm, he's kind yeah, of... Yeah, yeah, right. it so yeah, it's yeah. a weird way of how they're gauging who's important in media. But um, and what the, did Matt Hoffa do? And they're also... I mean, yeah. Matt Hoffa, okay. Like, wasn't the biggest storyline for him this year the split? Probably. And, you know, that's not hip-hop. But it, but he's also done, like, Dame Dash interviews. Like, this is the thing. I'm not watching no Matt Hoffa podcast, but I'm saying the nigga has not stopped. He hasn't stopped getting, like, notable people to come to his podcast. Like, his podcast, whether I like it or not, has been consistently going, and they haven't dropped off. Like, it, it's not like Matt Hoffa went from interviewing A-list celebrities to, like, now this nigga's, like, scraping the bottom of the barrel. Like, he, yeah, he, didn't, yeah. he didn't have no fall off like that. Like, if we're being all the way fair. You don't so, get celebrated for being consistent. Yeah, or, like, pity points. And it's also... I feel like, I, I feel like there's people on this list celebrating for being consistent. No. Can you say, mm, can you who? say who specifically? Yeah. Uh, okay, I... Elliot only moved up because he complained so much about last year. That's Elliot moved one. up because he started showing more personality. Yeah, there's no, but there's no work contributing to that. Like, what is that, him complaining? We but saw him complain all year, bro. The biggest, the biggest knock against him was that there's not enough, uh, like, conviction. You know what I mean? There's not yeah. enough of, like, what you actually think and who you are. Ever since then, he's been checking niggas. We got pressed. He's been saying how he feels. And, and you're not saying Elliot because... Matt Hoffa should be there over and, Elliot, right? I'm not saying he should be ranked higher. I'm just, you. the question was, you were just saying, you, somebody was pretty much asking, like, you shouldn't be on there just for being a consistent person putting out content. Yeah. And I'm saying there are people on this list that are only on here because they've been consistently putting out content. And I like, disagree. Tell, okay. I think Elliot has more pull and influence than Matt Hoffa. On the corporate side, yeah, for sure. Yeah, most Maybe definitely. even on the hip, like the actual hip hop side. Like, Elliot would be outside, as we know. We right. ran into him. Niggas right. like, yeah, you see me, I'm outside. Uh -huh. right. I'm tipsy in public. Uh, right, that is so okay. crazy. It's so crazy. He was drunk. Was he in the public, oldest no person problem. there? Who knows? It's, it is funny no. when you run into a nigga outside, they're like, you see, I'm outside. Okay, <laughs> nigga, yeah. I'm here too. What the fuck? Yeah. But you see that? <laughs> <laughs> but niggas don't be outside, so you got to really make I guess, it I guess niggas it's really don't be, don't be outside. Don't be outside. Yeah, outside. but it's like, nigga, uh, we're in front of each other right now. Duh. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. But, um, okay, I, bro. But like, honestly, I thought this was a solid list, but I want to hear more about your- uh, Yeah, so I didn't read everybody's bio <laughs> or whatever like that. I didn't read everybody's bio. I'm gonna be real. I just think it's crazy that Math Hoff is not on here, bro. I'm gonna be real. I think that's kind of ridiculous. Why? Why? Just like I said, he has not fallen off in terms of like the caliber of guests. He stayed consistent. But when your competition is pushing it further and you just doing the same thing as last year, you're you're not gonna get the mentions. That's just and how it works. You can't have Math Hoffa and Nori, I feel like. You gotta Sway have one of the on, other. Sway is on here. Like, <laughs> like Sway, like Sway the is the most consistent forever, bro. Like, there's some people Math that are just sober, fucking bro. consistent on here. Like, Angela Yee's just consistent. There's, and not there's really, nothing wrong with consistent, but I it's feel also, like I, she's on here because she got the spin off the way up joint. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, Sway consistent as a motherfucker on here. But what is he? I, also, a but I can't think of any. I can't think of any interviews that's been like. What is Sway ranked? He's at eighteen. 18, but Sway's on the list. Have you I'm seen saying. more of Gabe P's work in recent times? I've seen or more, more of Sway's work. Gabe P. Yeah, the dude from uh, the radar. Yeah, 25. Gabe. But I've yeah, seen, uh, but I've I, seen I, I thought you was asking who it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've seen more Math Hoffa work than I've seen Sway work. I've seen more Math Hoffa work than I've seen Big Boy work. If it I've comes down to if it comes Hoffa, down, I've seen more Math Hoffa work than Angie Martinez. I'm not I've saying seen, that he shouldn't be on the list. Bootleg Kev is on the list. He deserves to be on the list. He should be lower, I think. He's consistent as fuck, but I don't think his interviews are the best. But he's been consistent as fuck, but he's just been boom. He's just been consistent. That's it. You know what I'm saying? But it's also influence. Like, influence plays a major part. And I don't think math has that influence as far as, like, new school of rap, old school of rap. Like, I'm everybody, like, you might be able to get everybody on this list it is, is a touching, ranking. like, something. Like uh, specifically with uh, number twenty four. If we're talking, I've been watching his uh, kids take over for a long time. Like twenty sixteen, he's been grinding for a minute, and Indian he's guy. more of a new age uh, rap interviewer. You know what I mean? Like he's touching the new school. Like everybody on this list <laughs> touches a demographic. Matt That's Hoffa important. is just an old nigga falling for his purposes. That's respected, but he not. Nigga, you know what I mean. What's, his, what's the pool? He ain't moving the needle. What's the real pool? You think he getting LeBron in that chair? 
LeBron probably has a contractual obligation that he can only sit in his own barber chairs. Literally. I didn't realize I was going to be fighting for math this hard. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, me either. Well, not I just thought it was fighting for, for I just math, thought it was it's... crazy he wasn't on the list. I'm not even going to talk about... Like, I don't have time to, like, dive into where I thought he should have been ranked. Mm. I just think the fact that he was one of the people left off is kind of crazy. I do. I think that. And I, heard, I really and think that. Can you reasonably say somebody on this list that he can I, replace? I named a couple. Yes. Elliot Wilson. Come on. Elliot Wilson should be... No, no, no. Or no. Elliot, or that was uh, Elliot should just be. He should be on the list, probably. Yeah, he, Elliot should be on Elliot. the. Li- yeah, Elliot should be on the list, but. And I don't. That's why I, maybe, I don't think maybe, there's nobody. May, on maybe this one list. of these OGs or something like no. that. Like no, I don't think. Okay, there's Van Lathan. Van Lathan. What the fuck? Van no. Lathan is just doing podcast has, appearances. Has, no, but he hasn't. No, stuff. Van Lathan has. Van Lathan. Has Van Lathan has white America and Black America. Yeah, yeah. Matt Hoffa can't cover that. Hip hop media power rankings. What did they What did they say about Matt? What did they say about Van? They said, "Oh, it was kind of crazy. It was a little. It was. It, it could have been taken a disrespect. They was like to say that somebody is like fair or not. It doesn't seem like much of a compliment. But in yeah, this most, in this age of media, that's kind of uh, a rare commodity. Well, oh yeah, most sensible. Yeah, yeah. I said most sensible isn't the sexiest superlative, but in a world of cheap clickbaiting and formulating hot takes, it's a damn near honorable one." And apparently he's for, uh for years for years now it has been a title Van Lath has held down with a plum a plum and, a plum an intellectual flair after rising to fame as part of TMZ where he famously called out Ye for saying slavery was a choice Van Lathan uses red pill uses use his red pill podcast to analyze hip hop culture with the pres- what the fuck where does this red pill podcast I didn't even know you had a podcast you know the red pill podcast no I only see higher learning see I know about higher learning. He's only become more notable commentator as time's going on. Scroll down a little bit. Teaming up with Lindsay, Rachel Lindsay for the Ringer, for the Ringer's uh, Higher Learning, where he discussed all things black culture. <laughs> as Kendrick and Beef heated up, level, level-headed level Van was there to provide nuance and take. I didn't see none of his Drake and Kendrick Because academics takes. was flushing everybody out. Yeah, I didn't, yeah, I didn't see that at all. You know? So, yeah, that doesn't mean nothing to me. Trap Lord well, I mean, Ross? you're not the only person. Why did you me. say Trap Lord Ross? I think Trap Lord Ross has added something crazy to the culture. Nobody's doing what Traveler Ross is doing. It's that period. Yeah, yeah. He's got his own. He He's in the documentary lane. To where First he's of making all, these a lot pieces. of people are only on this list because of the Drake and Kendrick beef, right? Like Van Lathan, I did not see a single thing. Like, that is a, that's a major thing that they like kept academ- saying. Yeah, like academics and Joe Budden were the two we were going to. At least, you know what I'm saying? That's a major thing throughout this article. The Drake and Kendrick beef was such like, was such, was such a... A serious thing that qualified Every, if people. This is the biggest storyline in hip hop media right, this right. year in the last couple of years. So your performance on this ground bacon moment, that's like it matters. It kind of solidifies what you did for the year. How did I miss? This all is the of it, playoff. Man. This this is literally the playoffs. Drake versus Kendrick. If you were pouring on that, you in playoff mode. How did I miss yeah. all that? Did y'all like be real? Did I can't say I saw it, but yeah, it's you know still what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> and it's it's I respect them. And I fuck with Van Heavy. I'm yeah. just saying, like, and that academic take is true. He was drowning a lot of shit out. And Joe. And Joe. They the, were the, they the, were both drowning the shit out. Yeah. Like majority of us, we were going to those both two places. Yeah. Those were our yeah. two places that we went to. That was it. Because they're a little bit more reputable. Uh, to the most they're, reputable. They're more. That's yeah. why they wanted to. They're coming. They're coming. But they're, then, but then, if we look at like the Rory and Maul, like that, like they also played an intricate part. In that beef too, because they yeah. were on they were on the head of the push ups thing. Yep. They you were on the head, but then you got a podcast like Taylor Brilliant Bain. Idiots, and them niggas got sampled. Not on that was was that during the beef? I thought that, that was, was it was it was amongst it was amongst it was amongst. Yeah, but so. it was it was on it was, it was on Futures album. It was on Futures album, but it wasn't oh, on yeah, a disc record. True, true, but true, true, that's true. the album that the shot was taken on. Then why aren't they on it? Why aren't they over there? You got the whole the whole premise. Of like even like what Future's marketing was at the time was yeah. that like I'm here I'm one of them niggas I'm, I'm, I'm my actually shit. a legend you just don't realize it yet yeah thing. so it's yeah. all encompassing that means Brian Idiot should have been on here since they got sampled I mean at least they got sampled is on here. yeah Charlamagne's on here and then, Andrew Schultz <laughs> at yeah least nah, they got it, sampled. It feels like a disservice to put Andrew Schultz in the 25 most important hip hop media. Other people that weren't on the list also. So like <laughs> Car- Carisha yeah. made sense why she was left off. We weren't we weren't sure why she was on the first list. I knew right. she wasn't coming back. Peter Rosenberg, uh honestly, he should probably be on the list. Why? Most people don't like him, but he's consistent. He's on Ebro in the morning. Ebro's on the list. Shit. But at least Ebro, Ebro is like was, the head of like Apple or something. Ebro's in a different spirit, you know right? You know what now. I'm saying? 
Okay, now if we're going off straight influence, Ebro should be in the top three. Though. This is the yeah, power Ebro, rankings. Yeah. If it, no, because th then that means that that's wrong. But maybe Rosenberg should also be off because you just mentioned him being consistent is the thing. And if he's like the other niggas who are the O-heads who are just consistent, maybe they should be left off. I feel like Rosenberg was in the mess too because niggas hated him during the Drake and Kendrick shit on Twitter. No, but everybody hate hates people. Yeah. People, You're people right. hate Rosenberg. Period. period. It just feels like that's, yeah. Yeah. When it comes to power and influence, Ebro might be able to be high on the list, but he's not over Ak. Yeah, Ak has. He's not over Ak. You're talking about two different things. Power and influence, he beats Ak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Power. Only yeah. one of them was talking to Drake. Maybe not, no, not influence, power. Yeah. Only one of them was talking to Drake. You I'm don't not. think Ebro would have wanted to get like first no, 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 hand information from Drake that in that the same no, way they that acted? That has nothing to do with power. Yeah. That has nothing to do with power. It does a little bit when you when you're in the middle of one of the biggest rap beats of all time and you are the only person who has the niggas ear. Yeah. That matters. Also, Royal Mall too. They were Drake was confiding in both of them. Royal Mall and not in the same way though. Confiding them all, yeah. Not in the and same. He was confiding, but like, but like you, you you're not no, gonna I was compare. Gonna say, I think it was in the same way. Yeah. Moment is. I think like it might have been more on the yeah. Royal Mall. That was his confidant, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. like ah. it, it, was it, it felt but like I do get. It felt I like Maul was, was in, in the strategy room. Like, yes. you but know I get what you were saying. Like, if if you're separating the power, like if. And I, I'm saying head of Apple because I don't know the specific um, right. name. Like what he actually does. Yeah. But I think it's like Beach, Beach Radio. Radio it's Beach Radio, whatever. yeah. That is a hefty like title. He's got a pretty hefty title. I told myself I was going to start using ChatGPT more. But academics um, don't. Academics for what? has a lot more influence for sure. Because it's better than Google. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. You you could just fuck around with the, the Meta Global AI. Global Editorial Instagram. Head of Hip Hop. Yeah, I knew. He had a crazy fire title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Global Editorial hip, Head of Hip Hop. So as long as he yeah. keeps this position, he's going to be on every hip hop remember media Tackstone? list forever. Remember Tax Stone used to say this nigga has so much power? If you don't... He said he will make sure you never get on a playlist on uh, <laughs> yeah. Apple. You remember that shit? Yeah. So yeah, that nigga got power. Acad ac ac academics ain't can't get you off no damn yeah. playlist. Ebro can, though. Academics does have a, a big voice, though. He's got, that inf influence. Yeah, he's, got a, he's got the influence, the loud influence, yeah. yeah. But the power is like cutting you off the DSP. That's different, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I cut your water off. You can still have a big audience, yeah. but I'm cutting the water off over here. Yeah, you know a lot of niggas with power have no like immediate influence to the audience. Nala Simone, you sh she wasn't on the list, bro. What? Nala Simone didn't make the list this year. Would I, was I camping for her? Yeah, you don't feel no type of way? I mean, uh, no. Ah, nah. You bring her up the most, so I just wanted to. That is true. Yeah. Is and that true? How many black women are on this list? That's definitely true. That's a stupid angle to take. Uh, <laughs> Nyla Simone. Yeah, I don't know where this is coming from, but uh, Jinx was also. kind of not a, surprised she's not on this list. Jinx wasn't also on this list, um, and he was on the last year's list. Jinx had some slick shit to say on Twitter when uh, Elliot posted this a year ago. I ain't forget, nigga. <laughs> uh, but. Uh, I remember his bio from last year. It was <laughs> like, I remember his bio. It was like, I'd have been mad at that bio that they wrote me last year. Well, he was exaggerated swagger of a. Let me let me let me let me look at it real quick. I remember it. Being, I office. remember it saying like, no frills. Like this is not exciting. But Jinx, oh, Jinx, yeah. you remember yeah, that shit? Yeah. It was like. <laughs> so if you're here for entertainment value, you should probably yeah, leave. Yeah, yeah. It was some crazy shit like mm -hmm. that. <laughs> let me see. Jinx is a true student of hip-hop, but his deep knowledge of the genre is reflective in the interview he conducts. After developing skills as a journalist, brothers, uh, blah, 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 blah. The show isn't very sound bitey in the age of social media cutdowns, but it's almost, it's, it's a deliberate uh, Jinx strength. This is, yeah, it sucks. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. I'm not about to spend too That's much time on that. GBT muster up some hope for this. Yeah, movie. all right. So, yeah, those are just, I think those are just some of the highlighting things. But, like, we can go back into this list. I, I mean, how y'all think about just the overall list and the lineup and shit like that? Do you think anybody was fully slighted out of this list? I think it made a lot of sense for what's going on in the culture right now. Especially yeah. if so you this, genuinely so this, know. So this felt great for y'all. Especially Line if you online. genuinely know what's going on. Like, Gabe, like, that on the radar shit, like, regardless of if he owns it. He's still the face of it, so... It should, it should have been up a little bit higher. Yeah, probably. And given how vague the criteria is to be on this list, this is probably perfect. It seems like because multiple we, criteria. Because it's like, with certain individuals, it feels like it comes down to either, like, they got the people's ear or they got the industry's ear, and they kind of just pick and choose between those. There's no, there's no con constant theme of, like, all right, we counting viewers and if they can get the hottest thing in the world on this show. I, I feel like they're all on here for different reasons, which is, you know, the individuals, duh. But there are baselines uh, criterias, though. 
Like, like as far as followers, um, reach, like everybody on this list can reach a lot of people. But the thing individually, is, like they'll have in a certain demographic. You know what I mean? Like everybody has their lane. So you think that's what they did? They were trying to appease everybody? In a weird way, I think I think this is the best way they could. The way that they treat it's kind of the same list damn near every year in terms of the categories. They come out with the all right, the last couple of niggas, they're the rising stars. The rookies that's coming into the league with a little promise, less 25, 22, 21. Like Categorization area. Yeah. The then in that middle, them. then in that middle is gonna be the legends that you can't forget, but they're not impactful enough for the top ten, and they're better than the niggas in the twenties. So big boy gonna be fifteen. And Angel Martinez is going to be 12 or whatever the fuck. And, it, and then top 10, that's when you got who really fucking matters. And we don't know who's I'm, putting this list together because if I was like a white woman and I had to put this list together, like Big Boy is just one of those niggas that I would think of. He might be number one. White woman? Because if, if you white woman, like Becky don't know no better. She might put so we don't really know who's putting this list together. Like, <laughs> Becky don't know no better. That's crazy. Hilarious. Hilarious. <laughs> and I don't know. I, I think, can you, you mind just zooming in on this? You don't got to. Oh, on this can't zoom in on it's there. not like bad, but yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jesus, um, bootleg Kev, Rory, and Mom. I'm gonna tell you right now, this, this and is Mitch. where I'm at. Yo, with that's Yachty what I was just about Mitch. to pull up. What Yachty and Mitch is interesting, it's very interesting. They went from N slash A to 12th place. That's a huge jump. Not applicable to 12. I hmm. think that's... Is that the biggest jump on this list? I that might so. be the most egregious one. They weren't on there last year. That's yeah. what I'm saying, though. Like, the person who wasn't on there last year, but who's ranking the highest this year. I, I think they, they made the biggest jump from obscurity to being celebrated. And I, and I also Which feel I'm not like the purpose, yeah, and... Yeah, like, I don't know. I really like a Safe Space podcast. I don't think it should have been that high. I don't... But what, are, what is a Safe Space podcast? It's just... A rapper. It's not a rapper talking about hip hop things. It's just a rapper talking about shit. Mm-hmm. Even though Yachty and Mitch are like, you know, what I mean, they're two interesting characters. Like, I, you know, I like Mitch. And they they talk to artists. Like, they talk to niggas in the hip hop world. But Let's see why they made the list. I was say this hip is this list is hip hop based, but it's just like media still, like media yeah, personality. Still media, yeah. There's no consistent theme of how like this is being strung together. Yeah, because Kai yeah. Sinet makes sense at number three, right? Because hip hop people. Kind well, no, of. No, no. Because if we're going off, sense. because if we're going based off sense. of like who he's reaching, I oh. mean, it might be people that like hip hop, but it's a lot of younger kids. And I'll even give them that. I'll even I'll, give them that point. You know, but the top four so makes complete he, sense to me. He has he has a lot of pool to get. Like he could probably fuck around and get LeBron James on eventually. Not a lot of niggas can do that. But are we ranking who's the most powerful or who's the best? Because if we like, reckon who's the best, obviously Kyle is not going to be the best question asker. And if and yeah, this, this, is, this is, but this is an interviewer. But this if, is hip hop media. But if the man, whether whether it has and he gets a lot of hip hop powerhouses at his crib, he damn sure does. Period. The top four to me makes complete sense. Academics, especially if we're weighing the battle, academics number one, Joe Budden number two, that mm-hmm. makes complete sense. Number three, Kaisenet, because. That's that's the place to be. Like he runs it. Like yeah, and then number sure. four, the Breakfast Club or Charlemagne. Like those that top four makes complete sense to me for twenty twenty four. Like all the guests the Breakfast Club used to have, Kai has. Right. You know they're getting they're, a lot of the same guests. They're going to the they'll they go, go to, to Kai they first. might go to Kai before the and yeah. they, they might go to Kai and not go to the Breakfast Club. For sure. Who did that? It's better for I'm album just saying, sales. Like, it's it's more, somebody's definitely done it's that. more appealing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But who's I, done that? Nikki. I don't know. Oh yeah, Nikki. Yeah. Nicki Minaj, yeah. You don't isn't think that it, comes it, from a different place? Isn't there some gripe between... Yeah, exactly. there's, like, there's, there's a little context on you that, though. You just ask who. We just <laughs> no, <laughs> but you, you named somebody who didn't do it Yo. for the reason you said. That was a personal beef. It could be somebody who, did, who didn't go to New York but went to Atlanta. Lil, Lil Baby. Lil, Lil Baby did not go to the Breakfast Club. Mm-hmm. In the same run But he went he, to Sloth. That was way before. I'm talking about mm-hmm. the year that he went to Kai. Kai Yeah. So Kai Sinet is more powerful than Charlamagne the God in media? This 2024, yeah. It's one of those things. I mean, if we're gonna if we're gonna account for Ebro's backhand tactics and him okay, being well, able to well, do things, hold up. We can't, then we can't, I can't comfortably say that. That is a that is a good point. All right, well, but every time we start analyzing somebody, we can't just take one word out of the power ranking. You know what I'm saying? Like power and influence. It's, they gotta go together. They gotta work work together simultaneously. Like, we can't nickel and dime it every time we talk about something. But that's what they did to orchestrate this list. 
But that's not what they No that's not Because when you read the bios It's saying that's not that It's a lot of it's, If you read the bios There is different reasons That these niggas are on the list the main Like for view, one dude The views mattered And then for another dude The views didn't matter Because he had big stars With low views Like if you actually read this shit It's all over the place The main theme of it Is Who are The niggas getting views And pushing hip hop Who's the most Somewhere. fucking popper? That, that not was, even that like, was the base. not even forward or backwards, but, but nah, just who's because pushing hip hop. You're doing what you said we were doing. You just choosing influence. That's popping. You're not talking about power. Yeah, that's true. Which is a different ranking. You got to combine true. them. So we so can all coming. agree, like the. I don't even know. <laughs> Yo, they do it every year. They yeah, did it again. This is this is Look a couple. So this but is a, this stuff. a couple things. Yeah, I mean, um, top four. I, I'll, I'll live with to it. To me, I'll the top four makes sense. It. Elliot should not be anywhere near in the, in the. Elliot should not be in the top ten, bro. I, Period. I he should not be in the top ten. Just because you complain doesn't mean you get to go from spot eight on twenty twenty three. And to I'm spot not saying five. for that. I'm saying he should be switched with somebody. There's somebody he needs to be in the team somewhere. Yeah, yeah that's for true. sure. That's Period. True. He does not. He didn't do anything this year that deserved top ten. He didn't interview. He interviewed some niggas. No. No. Nah, he dropped some old interviews. He complained this year. Yeah, he like he I feel like places. I feel like this year I saw more Elliot complaining than Elliot product. For sure, that's a problem. You know, and then you moved up three spots. That's what if crazy. His but no, are but his he product. did. He did make himself more personable, like they said throughout the year through his complaints. But outside his complaints, he was at a lot of podcasts talking about regular hip hop shit as well. I mean, when you get to that age, you don't have many nice things to say. But I don't. I still don't think he should be in the top ten. I agree with you on that. I didn't know Narwhal was dropping this year. Honestly. Uh, Nawar, yeah, Nawar's still been working. He's still been, he's still been the, yeah, he's still been moving. How about Anthony, Anthony Fantano? Anthony Fantano, I just feel like he is a staple. Gillian Wallow, they slid the, to ninth, right? Where were they ranked before? They in the were, top five? they were like five. Yeah, let me see. They were number, they were number four last year. Oh wow, yeah. And so they so slid, they down, slid five. down to five. And, and I, that I'll was something. That. They, was they, a, they definitely need to be in the top ten for sure. There was another guest based by oh Drink Champs. They both. Our guest-based podcast, and they both noticeably slid down these lists. I wonder yeah. if there's like a correlation. Jason, a correlation. Jason Lee dropped a lot too. Jason Lee was number eleven in 2023. And he's 23 now. Yeah, yeah. Jason Lee dropped like crazy. Yeah. I mean, these whores stopped having babies to yeah. do rumor mills about. Who gets more? Hey, Anthony Fantano or Adam 22? Oh, Adam. Nobody Adam hates 22. anybody more than Adam 22. Adam 22. I think. Like yeah. Adam 22 yeah. is always going to win the hate. The hate train. I think mm -hmm. always. I think people still. It depends. Like real hip hop heads, I feel like they really shit on Anthony Fantino. They do. No, they real do. Real hip hop uh, heads. No, a lot of people. I know a decent amount of people who do not fuck with Anthony. Nigga, you Fantano. get mad villainy, you motherfucker. For sure. Three out of ten. For sure. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I feel you on that. Like he's. Got influence, but I know a lot of niggas that uh, on that type of time and, you talking about. But it's a, yeah. the different people that hate them are two different types of people. Like, the people that hate Adam 22 are not only, you know, for what it seems to be like on the internet, like just street niggas for all intents and purposes. But it's well, also... Black Israelites. Yes. And it's also, a, a, yeah, a lot of those. <laughs> and I think, at, I think at Adam 22 being hated, it contributes to him being in the... At twenty two, because honestly, he should be in the top ten. Like, I don't see we, him. I don't see him. No. Why? Why you don't top think ten? Because so? he he's got the power and the influence. But he's got both of them. But what in what power? Yeah. I and right. I, I think no. Who is he? Who is well, he the getting power, on his show? He's got power on his coast. And I feel like the reason they put it's him not that big far, it's in hip hop though. It's not big enough. The it's in hip hop. I mean, like if you if you got power in America where should, and where I got power it, in the West no, Coast, you got more Adam, power than in me. terms of hip hop. Where should Adam Twenty Two be then? If he's not at Twenty Two, I think he's probably perfectly ranked. <laughs> twenty Two, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. And the reason I think sounds crazy. Partly, What's the most hip hop shit he's done? He's above some of these niggas, man. Are you kidding I, me? I, Come on, like nah. for real. Look at the list. I will give him that. He's above some of these niggas. Nah, I don't. At Twenty Two, I wouldn't put Adam. Uh, he's almost off the list. I would put Adam above Bootleg Kev. Nah, I think Personally. he's perfect exactly Not where he's at. Yes. Because yeah. some a lot of these niggas at no least, shade like, at least the people that are above him, a lot of them push hip hop forward and you know, push Adam good pushes it shit. forward with bullshit. Exactly. That's not pushing it which forward. Which is why that is pushing which it is forward. why he should get his flowers or respect for that, but he should also stay at twenty two. Like you'll get your respect, you know, we'll accept you, but you're not gonna be higher than niggas that's Trying to push hip hop forward for different reasons that aren't just monetary. What happened? What happened last year with Adam? What did we talk about him for? 
It was a bunch of hip hop conversations. It was a big we was issue, about right? Adam. Bro, we always talk about Adam and bullshit, but Adam also still because does. He still does shit though. He's doing more shit than some of the people above him. You know, it's more bullshit than than business. It's ironic he got not on even it. business than just hip hop journalists. It's ironic he got on this list when quality. Van, Van Lathan is over him. Yeah, where he should be. <laughs> Van Latham should be, yeah. So in hip hop. Yes. As a hip hop voice. Yes. Niggas I don't hate think Adam. having a bunch of black people on your platform makes you hip hop. I think it's deeper than that. But at the same time, because this is a corporate establishment, they have to respect that, which is why they put him at 22. Mm -hmm. It's the perfect place to put a nigga. It's, like it's Adam. not the, it's not the, yeah, it's the perfect. And it's funny because if Adam focused up and had a year of just straight, he's getting back on his shit. He could easily shoot from twenty two. Like Adam and Wack has nah. almost been Adam and Wack has almost been a year. I feel like it might be at a year that they've been doing that show. Oh, uh, now and what does that mean? It's a popping show that does numbers outside of what's outside of just the No Jumper universe. That's universe. not a hip hop show though. What show? Adam and Wack Wack one hundred is hip hop as fuck. He's in the rap game, yes. But what do y'all count as hip hop? That's a hip hop show. The whole hip hop well, show is a hip hop well, show. Ah. Did you listen to the last episode? No, I didn't. Because we go out to... But I don't have to because I know WAC 100 is hip-hop. I feel like calling it a hip-hop show is even what if you don't want to, do. Even if you don't want to call Adam 22 hip-hop, even though it is a hip-hop platform, WAC 100 is hip-hop. Come on now. But it's, I feel like it's almost the one-drop rule. Like, one drop of black means you black. You know what I mean? It's not one drop. 100%. Everything, everything WAC 100 <laughs> three does... Three, yeah, the three. What, three what, so what do y'all count as hip-hop then? Because I think that's What's another What's an example? Thing. Yeah, because that's, that's another thing, because even last week when they said that we were defending Adam, mm. even though I was just saying niggas shouldn't be surprised that he right. did something like that, right. but yeah. whatever. Um, <laughs> they were saying that the, the whole thing came up again where they were saying uh, no jumper's not even hip hop or he's not hip hop. So what are we classifying as a hip hop platform then? The well, what, 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 what are we just classifying as hip hop? Okay. Breakfast Club. You want an example? Yeah, Is that what, what you're asking for? I want to know what, the qualifi what gets qualified as hip hop. When it's hip hop focus, only. So we're not hip hop then. It's a we're nah. not. Why it, would we be hip hop? It's you a talking about this show, podcast? We're not hip hop. Keep going. Show. You wait. So you saying Homeroom University is a hip hop podcast? I don't think so. So what are you saying? I'm asking what your qualification or, or what you're classifying. You, but as you said we're not hip hop. Who some are you people, regarding? Some some people would call us hip hop though. But that's just because we're black. Exactly. But we don't talk about music. Exactly. Uh, at times we do. Yeah, sometimes we do, but not really. That's when not our focus. When at it's all. relevant, but it's not the focus. We, we talk about the sure. black podcasts that talk about hip hop. Nigga, we talk about I, hip hop. I, I start off every show that this is a podcast about podcasts. I ain't never said nothing about hip hop. So, so just the, so, what's the qualifications of a hip hop thing? It's hip hop folk like everyday struggle. That's a hip hop show. So, what okay. about Kai Sinat? Kai Sinat gets looped in. Kai Sinat gets looped in, honestly, because he talks to a lot of hip hop people, okay. people who are relevant to it, but then he'll also fuck around and be with Sketch. So Anthony, Adam Anthony 22 talks to a lot of hip hop people. He only talks to hip hop people. Yeah. Only talks to hip hop people? He does. Yes. Hip hop Only he does. talks to hip hop people. If he's not on plug talk, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, yeah. that, that's all. The nigga is just interviewing rappers, bro. Yeah. We, we ain't never heard of them. But it ain't nothing but a bunch of niggas that rap, yeah. bro. That's it, it. Well, now we talking and about And you're talking Adam. about the Adam and Wack show specifically, right? I'm talking about all of Adam. All no, of no we Let's... went from talking about that show to just talking about the platform in general. So it kind of got moved. you would have... I, I get why you're saying that. That's what I'm saying. Because like, on a simple basis, you are interviewing rappers. Yeah. Which is why... Uh, I'd move him up three slots. Put him at 19. Adam 22? Yeah. Nah. You got to get a few people out of there from, from above him. Nah, that's That's man. what I do at least. Anthony, I can see that. An Anthony Fantano. He can definitely move up a couple spots. Anthony, I'm not, I'm not Anthony Fantano does not just review hip hop music. We just know about his hip hop case because those are the only ones that we go to him True. for. Okay. That yeah. nigga does every genre. True. Though. Mm -hmm. So what makes him part of hip hop? I didn't put him on the list. But I'm asking. So I'm it's, I'm trying to get a, I, I'm dialogue. trying to get an idea though. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get an idea. Like what are what what are we even calling hip hop? Because Anthony Fantano is on here, but he's not limited to just hip hop. I think or rap music. I think white but he people does talk about rap music, so I'm not mad at the mention, especially because all I know him for mm -hmm. is the hip hop takes. I've never seen him interview Nirvana or, or review that shit. Well, he's interviewing everything. I, know, I, I believe it. You that, yeah, I believe it. Yeah, but he does enough in rap music to where like he gives a nod. Nardwar doesn't only talk to rappers. Nardwar doesn't only talk to musicians. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. and that's that, and that's another good point. Yeah, it's it's. 
I don't know what is hip hop. What is a hip hop? This is a wild take, but it could be um, just if they're talking about music in some way, shape, or form, and there's black people involved. That's what it's looking like. That's That's what it sounds like. It's definitely the the niggas being involved. Definitely (laughs) plays a big influence. Let's not sleep on that. He tried to call us hip hop, but it's but it you can't rap because people would call us hip hop. Yeah, they would. Like somebody, I think uh, somebody on Twitter was like, "Shouldn't we be on the list?" I was like, "No." We don't we don't come from music. No. You know what I'm saying? No. But there are people that are looking at us like, yeah, these are, this is a hip hop platform. Wait, go back up to the top of this article on. I got you. We're pretty much there already. Go all the way back up to the like top. Like the preface before we get into yeah. it. Uh, or go back up to that banner. Okay. 2024 hip hop media, but I'm just making sure it says exactly media power what we're saying. Yeah. yeah. 24 hip hop media power rank. Yeah. Hip hop yeah. media. Last year we published an article uh, by then in late March. 24-4, okay, the rankings reflect the shifts that have resulted as smoke from the battle has cleared. There are seven newcomers who aren't ranked at all last year, plus a new name at the number one spot. Oh, they straight up told you seven of these niggas ain't, wasn't even on here last year. Mm-hmm. So at least they told, okay, so this directly reflects the whole Kendrick and um 2024 hip-hop media power ranking reflects the shift that have results as of the smoke from the battle has cleared. So it's like, this is all has to deal with the Drake and Kendrick It's the battle. aftermath, nigga. Yeah. It's the biggest, it's the only thing that matters. Well, that, a bunch that's of these the niggas, Gabe shouldn't be on here then. Not a goddamn off yeah. the record, he shouldn't be on there if that's the case. Because nobody went up to fucking off the record to uh, drop a freestyle. That's not true. That it, I'm talking about in this battle. They said after the smoke is clear. Well, because it's not all about that, but that is a major factor. That's, that's what they said. That where does it say this is all about what happened it's, with Drake and Kendrick? It says it reflects. It's it reflects. It's a reflection of the shift because we can see more now. The but that, that have changed after the smoke. I knew clear. off that doesn't negate. The, I keep saying off the record. That's academic shit, right? Yeah, that's off the yeah. record. On the radar. Yeah, yeah, on off the, the radar. On the radar. On the radar. On the radar. Yes, yeah. sorry. Yeah, I was watching them before and after. They were never in a position to lose viewership, my viewership no, because weren't. of the battle. Because you know it's what I'm not saying? even a part of it. Yeah, you know what I'm manner. saying? So it's like, I don't even know why Complex put that. That alone makes this whole thing fucking stupid. But as a previous li- okay, as with the previous lifts, the rankings below reflect the current moment, not the entirety of one's career. We ranked each media personality based on their impact in the space since the release of the inaugural list in 2023. Complex employees and hosts were not eligible for inclusion because obviously there'll be like speedy and shit like that will be on there or whatever. Yeah, he just interviewed I Joe feel like they're Biden. saying two things though. We ranked each they media are. personality based on their impact in the space since the release of our inaugural list in 2023. That's Yo, what I'm saying. It's all hi- over the place. Yeah, Complex they're trying to hire us to make dumbass lists too because we can, we're, we're good at that. Man, what? What I, I, we we can give you shit all day, nigga. That that don't make no damn sense. I about sense. to say a bunch of dumb shit, nigga. <laughs> right? Tony, think of something. <laughs> uh, please, I can't show him we can do it. Yeah, <laughs> Letty Martinez fourteen. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Letty all, Martinez is fourteen for all the right reasons. For all the right reasons. Yeah, this is a crazy fucking list, man. Yeah, she got more influence over me than. But honestly, like my biggest, <laughs> yeah, but just P. like my my biggest takeaways outside of like not diving in and reading these bios that they've constructed for people. I think I do think Adam Twenty Two was too low. I think that Math Hoffa should have definitely been on this list. I don't think Elliot should have moved up. I think he should have been knocked down a couple pegs out of the out of the top ten. I think the top ten is pretty valid to me. I'm not mad at the top 10. Rory and Maul being on the list is a new thing because they were actually complaining about it before. Mm-hmm. Oh, while we're in this segment, Academics has smoke for them. Like, he threw shade at them, too. Yeah, sure did. We could definitely watch that. Um, and has anybody been saying anything to Flacco, oh, well, especially since he went on that tirade about Shit, him, Flacco been on this him being the realest uh, hip-hop media and the biggest? Low-key, Flacco should have been on this list. That's actually, he saying. should have. He should have, for sure. <laughs> I can see that for sure. <laughs> for sure. Some water. <laughs> Flacco could have been on this list, but he for definitely sure. Flacco definitely they would have had to give list. him uh, two spots. So he, he could have been twenty five. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you said well, you ain't oh. never gonna let one of them moments pass. <laughs> you said give him two spots. Well, he has enough room. Shit, like you do it so can smoothly, I don't even be hearing it. Yeah. And then like I'll see a comment that says, "Yo, that was crazy." Like they'll re- repeat it. It's covert. You want to play his audio or no? 
Oh yeah, for sure. This is uh uh academics talking talking about Royal Mall. All right, no, I mean <laughs> hey, pause right there. I should let Chig should have been on this list too, continue. Oh facts. Why? That beef got nah I can't let it go. I can't let it go. <laughs> What about that? <laughs> All right, Rory and Millie Mall. They're ranked 13. And um, I'm going to be honest with you. This right here is definitely a, a OVO stimulus package. And um, I'm going to be honest, like, to keep it real, these two niggas I considered, I told you I most famously, I put these niggas in a bunk bed casket, and I believe that. And I still do. And I'm going to be, I'm going to be honest with y'all. And, and, and let me be very fair and just blunt about this shit we do in terms of hip hop commentary and whatever. You know, I never like these niggas, especially when they start having such adverse opinions about me. It's because they were niggas that lacked an opinion. They were niggas who lacked passion. So anytime I had an opinion, they were judgmental because these were, well, I could see it this way and I could see it that way. Listen, this is the... This is media personality land. Pick a side, have an opinion. We don't need the nigga to be like, oh, well, it's half full, half empty type of niggas. So when they were talking, I had to get them the fuck out of here quickly. <laughs> what I've realized is that this Drake and Kendrick battle, especially, which by the way, I ain't gonna lie, this detergent hot and motherfucker uh, uh, um, 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 mall, a fire lit under him. I, I think it's probably because Drake was hitting him, like, yo, whatever, whatever but like, it's the first time I've seen them passionate. And, and it just kind of shows. Because if anybody knows these two bozos right here, they were the niggas who were always... Anytime they used to judge me, they used to try to come across as, now nah, we too cool for that. Now nah, we're cool. That's why Joe Bun fired them. They were too cool for school. And, uh, except in the last, I want to say about like four to five months, they finally start realizing, hey... Maybe sometimes you're not going to look cool. Maybe sometimes you just have to live on your passions or whatever you actually think. Let it all hang out there. And actually, I'm taking some credit for it. And I know Drake taking some credit for them niggas being on the list. Because these niggas would have been washed up. And last year they weren't ranked. And this year they are. So, again, you know, I hate to give niggas secret sauce when I don't particularly like them. But let's see how these niggas fare after the, the Drake thing. Because... Again, if you are not passionate about nothing, nobody so gives a fuck about what you're saying. So what yeah, so what both. Rory said about us is basically what academics is saying about these niggas. It's like, nigga, you got your name off of a stimulus package from the owl, the great owl. Yeah, Rory was delusional. Though. Because That's Rory was saying difference. how we got our little thing based off of, you know, him and, you know, other individuals that he worked with in the past. That was just the only <clears throat> angle Rory could take. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that was just it. Because it was factually inaccurate. And he but, didn't mean it. But Act yeah. can't be hypocritical. Yo, this is like the second time that Act said, let's see what happens next. You know what I'm saying? Because uh -huh. I remember when they first started their podcast, he was like, let's see what happens in a year. And then, it, I mean, yeah, the, po the podcast that. did have its ebbs and flows, but now that they they're were successful. Up, yeah, now that, but now that they're up again, he's like, well, let's see what happens after this battle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it's, like, yeah. it's like, I think they made it through their hardest. He did. They did. Like, Royal, I they think did. they made it through their hardest moment. I yeah. think they'll be good. Like, it could always end. They're pretty, they're pretty, it could always end, but yeah, they're pretty, yeah. there's no more of the, let's see what they do. They're yeah, doing. yeah, yeah, and yeah. And the argument that he's making against them right now, that would, if he applied that to himself, he wouldn't be number one no more. Because he keep, his whole thing is, you wouldn't be in this position without Drake. You got slid into number one because of the Drake cover. Yeah, he that's did. what yeah. put him over the top. Yeah, because yeah, Joe yeah. was number one. So last the stimulus year, package sure. that they received is almost like it. He got it too. It's one of them things to where it's like it goes to all the players. Like we're all but getting it, the same advantage. But it also, you know, oh yeah, we all you know what I'm saying. But he's discrediting the what whole, they did. The whole grave was curved. Like all of us, all of us got the got game the, sliders all got, the way up. Yeah, everybody got the curve. We right. all got it. So you can't yeah. you can't use that argument against them. That's how yeah. you got to number one. But in academics of defense, I guess the They're nigga ops. was streaming for like six hours. Like yeah. seven hours. Like, sure. That's the like type. Sixteen, you mean? He definitely yeah. worked. Yeah. Was like, that's more than he six, was. Uh, <laughs> he was giving like play by play uh, of reactions. He and was, he also got to remember that the, these are his top op. Well, Rory is definitely his top op. Exactly. He worked he's, harder, he but he whole... was. But he was eating from the same restaurant. They both had the same cheat codes, but you know, shit. Academics just got farther. Yeah, yeah but like he's discrediting them for using the same cheat for codes sure. he got. Absolutely. Yeah. That's all I'm saying.
And you know when it's when you shitting on your app, that's it's what you're like rationale goes out the window. Yeah, yeah, it's like because he because he he Cause, started by saying like I'm gonna try to cut him slack, but it's like halfway through like. Within a couple minutes, you're like, he can't do this. He yeah. hates these niggas too much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but yeah. But I think that's really about it, though. Um, unless we have any other closing thoughts on that list. Yeah, nah. I can only imagine what next year is going to be like. We might have to try to predict. We can make it way worse next year. Like, if y'all are going for bad lists, hit us up, nigga. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. We can make it way worse. I think they're going for just good <laughs> enough. <laughs> right, that's what it is. <laughs> this list didn't even like it. Really didn't even like catch fire like that for real. Like because it was like, it was like last year it was like a big deal. Yeah, but like this year it wasn't nearly as hot, which is why it definitely didn't need its own episode. But y'all want to get it hot again? You call Homer University, goddamn it. <laughs> we put Nala upon it. Nala Simona number two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Elliot Letty Martinez number El- one. Elliot, yeah. And four. Nah, I'm putting Elliot Wilson. Just at so you don't one. forget Are you crazy? it. Crazy. Elliot Wilson at number one said shit on fire. Yeah, that that you know what he'll do for crazy. one year. Oh my god, he will boast that shit for a year straight. Yeah, he will sell the article for us, uh-huh. putting him in at number one. He'll make complex regret it. He's going. He's I'm saying. <laughs> he's gonna go to every platform. And be like, well, I was number one in the pa-. like. It's nigga. gonna be lit, nigga. Like, oh put Elliot did. at number one next year. Right, nigga. We haven't even seen what if number five really did. Yet. Yeah, if you if you really yeah, we haven't even seen his like. His number five, like, yeah, I moved Provider. up three. Yeah, I yeah. definitely wouldn't want to see that. He already had a little air of entitlement because of his status in the oh, game. always, yeah. So That's I can only is. imagine what the fuck that is. But he can, he can have that. He can have it. Yeah, nah. Bingo but, Club yeah. ain't going to hear enough of it. But staying on Royal Mall, let's get over to this Brandon Jennings. And it's the motherfucking North Side House podcast. I am Donovan McCray. Carly B. Super P. We got AJ the motherfucking yeah. medicine here. If I'm really being honest, I don't. Those be the ones that be having it. The ones that don't look like it? Yeah. I hate old, tough people. I understand what you're saying, because like, yo, if I punch you in the chest, you're going to die. Like, don't, don't act like <laughs> that, bro. Yeah. So old niggas that can box. Old niggas that take your life. Yo, <laughs> yeah. Is, yeah. If he old with a fanny pack? He's more than a freak frog. He's a yeah. full frog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>